I'd like to talk to you about where the Google Lunar X Prize came from. Um, after the Ansari X Prize was won, uh, we started developing a relationship with NASA and their Centennial Challenges program. Will Pomerantz, uh, who is one of the directors on the Space Prizes, and I went in and we did a study for NASA on two follow-on space-related X Prizes. One was an orbital, human orbital X Prize. The second was a lunar X Prize. And uh, we had a huge amount of excitement from potential contenders. We uh, interviewed 40 to 60 potential contenders and benefactors. And it looked for a while like NASA was going to fund a Lunar X Prize. Originally, it was going to be a $20 million purse. And because NASA was putting up the money, it was going to be uh, US contenders only, which is not the well, way we like to do things. So we were going to have to go out to the European Space Agency and Japanese and Chinese Space Agency and try and get them to put up matching purses. Uh, unfortunately, NASA had budget overruns, and uh, they said they couldn't fund the Lunar X Prize. And it was at a, uh, actually, an X Prize Board of Trustees meeting that I presented this idea to Larry Page and Sergey Brin, the co-founders of Google, who said, that's a great idea, and we should fund it ourselves. So uh, as it turned out, through a series of follow-on meetings, uh, Google stepped up to this, made it a $30 million purse with a first and second place prize, and most importantly, made it open worldwide. And so we're very proud right now that uh, Google has made this the Google Lunar X Prize, and um, hoping that we get contenders from literally around the world, the most untraditional players out there who come in and show the space industry how to do it for pennies on the dollar and reinvent how we do space exploration.